Um, so leaving Arsenal, uh, went to Bristol, Bristol City. Yeah, yeah. yeah Bristol, Bristol City moving away now. Um, of course, Halen, uh, it's not, it wasn't too far for you. Uh, you know, she, uh, London Colony, also mm. not, not too anything crazy. Bristol, how was that? You know, living away from home, um, new people, new coaches, new training ground, everything different. How was that? Yeah, so moving to Bristol was, was, was quite fine for me. Um, before, when I was at Arsenal, I moved into Diggs. So I, was, I, was, I got used to actually living away from home. But then I actually felt comfortable just going like, anywhere in the country, to be fair. And luckily, like, Bristol was far, but it's not that far. It's not like I'm going up to Scotland or Newcastle and that sort of thing. So I can still travel home. Um, and Bristol itself is the actual, the city is like a, a mini London. So it's not like I'm in an area that I'm not, that I can't, like, move as if I was when I'm back home sort of thing, like, um, there was a few young boys there as well at the time, in and around my age, that sort of helped me settle in. Like, so, like, Wes Burns, Bobby Reed, Joe Bryan, a few others. Um, J. Emmanuel Thomas even came that same season that I come, so I had another familiar face there to keep, like, to keep me company at times. Um, so, yeah, like, moving, yeah, moving to Bristol, like, I didn't, didn't fear it at all. Like, I was actually excited to, to go out and try and conquer that quest of my career. The football side of it, how big of a difference was that like? Um, you know, they have maybe, maybe not, they have different styles of playing. Um, you know, you might want to play a short ball, but maybe your midfielder is not checking for it and is not yeah. willing to receive it, you know. Like how are that how is that and what type of differences did you see on the pitch? Um, so where can I to be fair like <clears throat> at the time of my at the time I would say that Bristol there wasn't like a, a renowned known as a possession based team but there wasn't like a direct team so the mixture of both and they actually had some good players there in the team as well so when you come across you know good players um, they were always like not always but they will try to play at certain times and then that's when that's that's when I start started to, to understand like when defenders or anyone have it has the ball in a particular area they're not looking to try and play and keep possession of the ball they're just looking to get the ball into the opposition's half or into a certain area just to basically eradicate the uh, trying the losing the ball yeah making a mistake and then potentially um, giving away a goal. Um, yeah, when I yeah when I first went to Bristol, like, I was anxious at the time to be fair in terms of playing because it was my first time playing first team football, or uh, in and around the first team setup properly. Um, but yeah, no, like in training and whatnot, like I was just I think I was just buzzing to be around there. So I just you know when you have sort of like a, a fearless sort of attitude and you're just doing things without even thinking, you're not overthinking things, you're just doing what's natural to you. Do you know what I'm saying? So started it started off very well. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you went on loan um, a couple of times, also uh, featured for the first team, making your um, professional debut. How was that like compared to you know always playing youth football and everything like that? What was the major differences playing first team football? Yes. So like I said, um wasn't involved in a first team environment before. So when I got my first start in the first game of the season, it was the experience was nothing like to what I've ever been involved in. Um I'm not even sure how many fans there were, but those pure fans like probably over like ten thousand and whatnot. The atmosphere was crazy. You got the fans like shouting and you're trying to talk to your teammates. You can't even hear them. And like you just got the adrenaline just pumping in your body which because it's just a new experience and whatnot. But whilst it's going on, you're like loving every single second of it sort of thing. So after the taste of that, I was like, yeah, like this is what I know. This is what I want. I, I want to be involved in this as much as I can sort of thing. So it kind of, it did, well, yeah, it pushed me on to, 
to basically want more in my head anyway, mentally, I'd say. Obviously, you're young, so you understand maybe being asked about on loan, um, you know, going into a, a new environment as well so quickly in the space of a couple of years. Um, how was that for, you know, a youngster um, at the time? Especially, you know, you were playing defender in, in defence, right, at the time? At the time, I was playing in midfield, you know. Okay, in midfield. Okay, so midfield, mm. maybe a bit more easier as a, as a youngster, but um, still, you know, a lot goes on in midfield where you need to get on the ball a lot and, um, you know, make things happen, putting tackles and whatnot. So, um, you know, mm. going on loan, um, how, how was that experience? It was daunting to, to begin with because, again, coming from, from Arsenal, you saw me personally, don't want to speak on anyone else, but I was a bit naive and unaware of many leagues underneath the Premiership and probably underneath the Championship as well, I'll be honest. So I was at Bristol City, they were in League One at the time. Then I'm being asked to go out on loan to a team in League Two to respectfully a team that I didn't know about at the time. Um, but yeah, ended up going there uh, and I ended up scoring on my first game, actually. I think I had one training session on the Thursday or the Friday, then got put into the starting lineup against Tranmere. And yeah, like <clears throat> going into that situation, in my head, I just thought, listen, I, I personally feel like I'm better than this level. I just need to showcase it. And the um, manager showed faith in me. Some of the players, like, probably saw what I was doing in training and liked what they saw so felt a bit, felt a bit more confident in me and comfortable um, with me being on the pitch and you know trying to show me things and help me out on the pitch where I can as much <clears throat> more than like a player that they probably don't like in terms of like politics and, and football but um, yeah the loan experience was very good for me in the end like I'm, I'm thankful that I even got that opportunity played every game um, for that month that I was there as well so it was it was a very good experience for me yeah um, we'll skip past a few other loans but um, obviously Dartford is predominantly where you found your home um, yeah. what's different there compared to the other clubs that you, you played at what, what's the biggest difference why you think you've been there the longest compared to other clubs um, one thing I'll say is like the team, the team has done fairly decent or well, so there hasn't had to be a big um, uh, like a jumble up. Or, pardon? Overall of of uh, yeah, of yeah yeah yeah. So like managers haven't had to get like sacked and all of that sort of stuff, whereas that's happened at previous clubs. Then, um, yeah, all of the managers, I say, all, all of the managers that's been there has obviously sort of understood my game, I would say, and has always like <clears throat> put me in positions that's tailored to myself. But I've actually experienced like all, all of the three positions that I spoke about at the start of this when I was saying like centre back, midfield, right back. I've done that like at this club. Um, so they know I'm quite versatile. I think they just understand me as a player and a person in the board as well. Like I've been there for a while, so I'm like quite comfortable with like the staff members uh, that are quite higher up. Um, and yeah, like I just, it's, it's just quite comfortable, especially for this level. It's like one of the, the best sort of teams that are like pretty well run in terms of, you know, facilities, stadium, even being like being paid on time and all of that sort of stuff. Like, so many different things like it just run well the training like what's what's um accessible via training as well so since since they gave me a lot of game time I've always just I've always just wanted to, to go to a place where I feel like <clears throat> I'm co I'm comfortable because I know that I'll probably play my best football whilst I'm comfortable and instead of like always looking for another team or whatnot and then potentially getting in an, another situation with like a manager or being in around new players, um, yeah, I just I just feel like I, I perform better when I'm when I'm more comfortable and 
the club itself has made me feel comfortable. So that's why I opted to stay uh, this many seasons because I could have gone a couple of times, but didn't want to, to be honest. Yeah, 100% playing your best football, I find, uh, and I've found it's the best when your your mental is is all the way there. You're, you're locked in, um, obviously on the pitch, but also off the pitch, the environment, your teammates, um, getting paid on time. That's what you mentioned. It's so important in football where, you know, in football, they expect you to get on with it. Like, oh, yeah, we're not getting paid this, but you know, lads, let's get on with it. We've got a game, but this is people's livelihood at stake. You know, people got put food on the plate for their kids, mortgages, all the rest of it. So that's what people don't see, um, you know, when you go down the, the level, not just in England, you know, abroad as well. Um, but mm. football has this stigma of, not even a stigma, it's, it's just real. Um, football has this thing um, that they put on you you know, that everything is going to be all right. Just just play football. Everything everything will be forgotten. You know? So, <laughs> yeah, that's something I've never understood. But, um, yeah, we, we move, we move. For more content like this, like, share and subscribe. Mm-hmm.